Today's the day that the world becomes my oyster Today's the day that I've set aside To find a place in the new sunshine Today's the day I start using my voice Today's the day that I crack that shell and probe it for a pearl or two. Today's the day, cause that's my choice. I really need that logo, Brandon. It's in here somewhere. I just hope it didn't get stuck in another file. Maybe we can use a copy. There is no copy. It's the original. I handed it to you yesterday, remember? I told you to put it back with the other spec. I know, I know. I, I'm sure I did. I mean, I think so. You think? I'm sorry. Why don't you just check around your desk? Okay, but I don't think they're out there. Sorry. Excuse me. Still not working out? He is just so all over the place all the time. He's a nightmare. Oh, well, I guess it's time you let him go. Me? If you hired him, you get to fire him. Today is the worst day of my life. Why? Tomorrow, I have to go into work, sit a guy down, and tell him he's fired. <laughs> what happened to me? It's like 10 minutes ago, I was playing this really great game of dodgeball, and suddenly I've become the establishment. This guy that bad? He completely stinks. Well, then he deserves to be fired. You're not the one who has to tell him. I got kicked out of Cubs once. And I cried like a baby when I got canned from that courier place, remember? Oh, now that's fire. You were a basket case for days. It's like the whole world had fired me. It worked out, though, in the end. After I figured out how to pay the rent, all right? Yeah, right. Oh, God. I'm about to destroy a human being's life. I'm coming. Right, Chuck. Thanks. Nice outfit. Yeah, well, I was sleeping. At 7 o'clock at night? <clears throat> well, the good shows don't come on until 8. Besides, I haven't had much sleep since Snoring Dave's been here. So, uh, what's the strategy here, Frank? Are you just gonna lie on the couch until someone breaks down the door and offers you a job? Or maybe you should, uh, get dressed. Sit. I've tried, okay? I've, I've pounded the pavement. I've sent resumes to every recording suite in the city. There's nothing else I can do. Well, maybe it's time to try some new possibilities. You've got some great clothes here, Frank. Nice cuts. You know what? Why don't you come and work at the store for me for a little while? <laughs> what? Yeah, why not? You need to do something, and I could really use the extra help. Sin, I stay appreciate right what now. you're trying to do, but I know you're just taking pity on me, so. Uh... No, I'm not. I really do need the help. Get dressed. I can teach you everything you need to know in one night. Hey, a little dinner for two? Yeah, yeah, a little dinner uh, for the wife and me. I was just taking it down right now. Down? You guys eat in your office? Did I say down? I, I meant up. I, too many hours in front of the old computer or something. I don't know. Yeah, up. Up to, uh, up to our little love nest in the sky. Maybe I should phone in sick tomorrow. Maybe I should just stay sick for the rest of my life. If you're going to do it, Friday is the most popular day to fire someone. The employer avoids short staffing midweek, and the, uh, the crowded subways allow for the ex-employee to hide the telltale box of office supplies and chip coffee. Money. How can you be so cold? Don't you know how horrible it is to get canned? No. It's my own fault. I never should have hired Brandon in the first place. He didn't have the qualifications or the experience. Ben, what should I hire him for? 
Well, he was just so nice and he wanted it so much. What if he can't find another job? What if he ends up on the street? Maybe you should give the guy another chance, you know? Um, maybe he just needs you to show some faith in him. Give him, uh, give him some confidence. I could try that. How come you care so much all of a sudden? I don't. I just think it would be easier than training some other loser. Hmm. Those diskettes on the table, can you look at them, run them through the doctor program? Sure. What else am I good for? Never argue a woman's dress size. If she says she's an eight, she's an eight. If she can barely squeeze into a ten, well, then the dresses are marked wrong. What do you think? Wow. Be more specific. Take the look apart. Examine the different aspects of the dress. Well, it makes your butt look really good. Well, that's more like it. But you can't say butt to a customer. You have to say butt without saying butt. Come on. Now, gently turn the customer so their best feature is reflected in the mirror. Keep your eyes on the reflection, not on the body. Say things like, see how the fabric accentuates the silhouette here and here. Mm -hmm. How the fabric drapes and follows the natural contours of the body. How the cut creates a soft, smooth line in the back. Mm -hmm. There's no substitute for fine craftsmanship. Frank. Mm -hmm. This is a completely professional arrangement. There's to be no hanky-panky at the store. No one must know we're going out. Mm -hmm. I take my job very seriously, and I expect you to do the same. OK, boss. But we're not at the store now, are we? I want you to know I have faith in you, Brandon. You do? I have faith and confidence in you. And I think it's time you had some real responsibility and you got down to some real work. Great. OK. Here's what I want you to do. Um, first, clear up all this filing. Then there's a whole list of phone calls to be returned. But most importantly, get this couriered out by the end of the day. Palmerston doesn't get it by tomorrow morning. I'm dead. Dead. Right. So, you want all the filing done? Yeah. Um, I'm in a meeting with graphics all day. If you have any problems, I'm in the boardroom. Hey. I won't let you down. I'm sure you won't. <laughs> Sin, do you realize I'm the only guy in the store right now? Use it to your advantage, Frank. Can I pay for this? Of course. Frank, there's a woman over there that looks like she needs some help. Why don't you go take care of it? Okay. Um, can I help you with anything? Mm, I don't know. I'm looking for something extraordinary. A special occasion? Hopefully. It might depend on the dress. OK, I think I can help out with that. Um, why don't you slip into a change room, and I'll see what I can do. Uh, why don't you try this one? Oh, OK. Thanks. That's pretty. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. like Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But you know what? I, I think we can go sexier. <laughs> now, this one is good. I've seen this one work. <sighs> this one is a small A, but I think you can pull it off. I think I found the one. Oh, yeah, this is the one. You are going to love this. That's the one. That is what I call a dress. I mean, it's sexy. It's it's sophisticated. Look, look at the way the fabric drapes along the back. I mean, for the extra money, I, I'd say it's worth it. I mean, there is no substitute for fine craftsmanship. And it makes your butt look really good. <laughs> Thank you so much. We'll see you again. Thanks. <laughs> Not bad for the rookie's first day, huh? I think you should put those dresses away properly. 
on the hangers. Okay. Brandon? I'm here. <laughs> I'm done. It was a uh, real hard work. <laughs> you did really well today, Brandon. <laughs> I'm really, really glad. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Uh, so, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Okay. <laughs> All I needed was a little extra motivation, a positive reinforced push. Look at the place. Good for you. Impressive management. It would just be really great if you could get the package on the flight tonight. I can cab it up to the airport. I just need someone to log it in. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. It'll get there. I was so stupid to trust him. I just should have done it myself. I am so naive. I am so stupid. I'm going to get fired if this doesn't go tonight. I can't afford to live here if I don't have a job. Uh-huh. Great. It'll be on the desk within the hour. And uh, say hi to Rob for me, okay? <laughs> yeah. Get your money out. Cab the airport has to be prepaid. Be there by the morning. Nobody gets fired. Somebody does. It's just not going to be me. Brandon, I really think you'd be better off somewhere else. Somewhere with less responsibility. Somewhere with bigger opportunities. Somewhere where you can use your unique skills. I'm sorry, but I'm just going to have to let you go. I don't get you. I spend a little bit too much time with one customer and you blow a fuse? This is your boss you're talking to, Frank. I'd advise you to choose another tool. Excuse me? We are not at work here. You know, if you weren't such the complete professional, I'd say that you were jealous. I'm not jealous. I just don't think that coming on to a woman in order to make a sale is the height of professionalism. Whoa, whoa. You thought I was coming on to that woman? Sin, I was trying to close the sale. Uh-huh. Well, I expect my employees to treat the customers with a certain amount of honesty and respect. Honesty? You call that stuff you taught me the other night honest? Sin, open the door. Sin! Brandon, um, I wonder if I could talk to you for a few minutes. Sure. You want Danish? No. Ah, my book. So, oh, I, uh, I need to talk to you, Brandon. You're a real inspiration to me, you know? What? The way you work so hard and you always know what to do. I, all my friends are jealous that I work downtown. Brandon, I need to talk to you. Okay. Um, some things have come to my attention uh, over the last few weeks. Some lapses in some areas of your work. It's about that package, isn't it? Now, I remembered halfway home. I tried to get back in, but the office was all locked. It's not just the package. There's been other things. Lost files, misplaced messages. I just think you'd be happier that it might be better for all of us. I just think in the long run... Um... I'm really sorry, Brandon, but I have to let you go. What do you mean? I really like you, and I wish there was some other way. You're fired? I don't really have any choice. I mean, I tried to get you to understand the stuff you had to do, but things were just were right all the time. I can get better, and... you know. I can stay late and work. Brandon, I... it's just not going to work. I'm sorry. I really am. Uh, is it okay if I take that box? I got a lot of stuff outside. That would be fine. Uh... 
You know, to be perfectly honest with you, it uh, doesn't work. I mean, it all kind of binds and, and tucks. Maybe you'd like to try a 14. Office, now. You wanted honesty? That was honesty. I criticize one thing you do on your first day, and this is how you react? You just ruined that woman's whole week. What, what do you want me to do, Cynthia? I mean, hell, I try to be nice, and you get upset. Now I'm not nice, and you get upset. Tell me what you want me to do. I thought I could keep it all straight. Us working together in here and seeing each other out there. I thought the big problem would be you. You'd be paying too much attention to me. Look, I'll, uh, I'll back off the customers. I'll, I'll keep a professional distance. Frank, it's not working out, us seeing each other and working together. Don't you think you're taking this a little too seriously? No, I don't. I've seen it before. My parents were happy until they started a business together. Fine, I'll quit. No, you won't. I need a good salesman, and you need the job. What, what are you saying? We have to break up? I told you I was professional. Hello? Hello? I lied about never having a job, you know. I just never get paid. Look at me, Stuart. I'm all the people you hate. I'm one of them. I take it Brandon is in search of alternative means? You know, I thought I could make a difference. I thought I could change him. I was wrong, of course. Poor guy. Well, at least he has his health. You try to do the right thing all your life. And you end up linking a lot of days together and firing a lot of stewards. You mean Brandon's? Whatever. You end up a terrible person who's never been fired in her life. Do you think I'm a terrible person? No. No, I, I think you're probably the least terrible person I know. At least you tried to help. Most people wouldn't even try. Mm. So you shouldn't feel bad. <laughs> me too, me too. Uh, yeah, are you sure that's such a good idea? Of course. Okay. Mm. Um, you know, uh, I had to fire someone once. It was really, really bad. I mean, she, she hated me for it until I was like 10 or something. And... I'm, it, it, uh, it was my nanny, but, uh... <laughs> I have a confession to make. I felt something that time when we kissed. I mean, hmm. not a feeling feeling. Not a <laughs> big deal, let's go out and get married kind of thing. And we're already married. Don't wreck it, okay? Um, Annie, do you know what you're doing? Don't speak.
You can't win. Before, I had no money, no job. I couldn't take Cynthia out. Now I got a little money, I got a job, and I still can't take her out because she's so professional. Yeah, why women like that? That's so business-like. Like, that's all that matters, you know? You know, I wish things were simpler, you know, like, like the 50s. Yeah, like the 50s, exactly. Yeah. Women. You said it. <laughs> Stuart? Come in, my queen. I hope you slept as well as I did. Uh, I don't know. Oh, don't worry. It'll come to you. Not exactly in an evening you'd soon forget, huh? I know I'll never forget last night. <laughs>